Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Spirits of Elit. There are no quest requirements, and the stat requirements are 33 magic, as well as level 37 in ranged, mining, and thieving. For the items needed are a slash, crush, and stab weapon. And with these three weapons, you will need to defeat three monsters of combat 75 with one weapon each. So, examples of a slash weapon would be like a scimitar, sword, and battle axe. Examples for crush weapons would be like battle staves, pickaxes, maces, and warhammers. And examples of a stab weapon would be like a dagger, swords, spears, as well as also pickaxes, just to name a few. Then you will also need to have one telekinetic grab spell, which means that you will need to be on the regular spellbook, as well as have one law and air rune, one needle, two threads, any kind of pickaxe, a rope, any kind of bow, as well as any kind of ammunition that works with the bow, a knife, and a light source, as well as four empty inventory slots. For the recommended items are one stamina potion, items of food, potions, and armor to help yourself killing the combat 75s, as well as one water skin, because this is a desert quest. For the teleports, I will be using one charge of the Necklace of Passage to teleport myself to Eagle's Eyrie, just north of Narda, as well as two extra Narda teleports to speed things up. And then just as always, one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. So where to start this quest is here on the eastern side of Narda. Let's talk to the mayor, Usawa, and select option 1, 2, and then 1 again. After this conversation is over, let's go north to the building just north of the mayor's building and let's talk to Gaslore. Select option 1 twice. After he has given us a ballot, let's go west and enter the building just west of it. On our way there, read the ballot. And inside of the building just west of Gaslore, Let's first use a telekinetic grab on the key, just laying east on the eastern table. Once you have this, let's go to the northwestern corner and search that cupboard. And you'll find a rope and a rope bottom. On both items, use your needle to fix it up. And now it is already time to fight the combat 75s. Go to the northern bank if you need to, and once you are ready, Let's teleport to the Eagle's Eyrie, or just run all the way north. Just follow the river all the way north to the source. If you've teleported to the Eagle's Eyrie, then you simply need to follow the hill southwest. Once you are at the river's source, go all the way north, zoom out a little and you should see a route. Use your rope on it. And you will be in this cave. Next, let's go to the door and be sure to equip your rope of Aladinis, both of them, and then open the door. Next, go a bit east, and here you should find three doors. The southern one, once you try to open it, will spawn the white stab golem. So equip your stab weapon. It is on stab. And let's go fight. You don't need to wear your rope of Valadinis anymore, by the way. You just need to wear those ropes to enter this room. Alright, once you've defeated the stab golem, let's open the door and use your level 37 thieving to clear the water channel. Next, let's go to the eastern door. And that will spawn the grey slash golem, so equip any weapon with a slash option and let's open the door.
Alright, once you defeated the Grey Golem, let's open the door and while you have a pickaxe in your inventory, let's clear the water channel. Next, let's open the final door, which is the northern one, and that will spawn the Black Crush Golem. So equip any weapon with a Crush option, I will be using a Battle Staff. Open the door and do the same thing over again. You could use this as a safe spot, but who cares. Alright, once you've defeated the Black Golem, once again, open the door and now equip your ranged armor and ammunition and then shoot a target across the water channel. Once you've succeeded, the water channel should be cleared. Alright, let's now go west and let's open the northern door. Next, follow the lake until we see some water spirits. Talk to any of them, doesn't matter, and select option 4 and then 1. After the conversation is over, let's teleport to Narda, and let's report this to the mayor. Next, while we're talking to the mayor, next to the doorway we should see some shoes. We will need to pick those up to continue our quest. Right, let's now, once we have the shoes, let's go to the Narda Bank. And on our way there, let's use our knife on the shoes to get two shoe soles. Right, once you're here at the Narda Bank, let's run west and enter the desert. Keep running west until you see a crevice. Be sure to have your light source as well as your shoe soles for the next part of this quest. Once you see the crevice, go towards it and use your rope on it. Next, go north and there you'll find a genie. Talk to it and select option 1, 1 and then 3. And that's the deal. Since we already have our souls, let's talk to the genie and he will give us the statuette. Let's teleport or run back to Narda and let's go to the building where we have gotten the key as well as the robes of Aladinis, just north of the fountain. Use the statue on the statuette plinth to complete our quest and congratulations you've completed Spirits of Valid quest. You are awarded with two quest points, 8000 prayer experience, 1000 thieving and magic experience as well as the use of the Narda shrine. And while you pray at the Eladinis statuette, besides then completing a medium task of the desert, this statue will always regenerate your HP, prayer and run energy all the way to 100%. But the HP that is restored is always about 20% higher than your current level. But I think this depends on your hit points level. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete Spirits of Elite Quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, by the way, you may drop your robes of Aladinis as well as the ancestral key. Those are useless at this point.